Adventist in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, set up a big screen in a motorcycle parking lot to preach the gospel. East Africa's largest city is strategic for reaching many people, including pedestrians, motorcyclists, and shopkeepers. The footprints of the searcher program has covered 967.3 kilometers. We have crossed waters on ferries carrying us over Lake Victoria with sounds of horns. We spent 15 hours from Morogoro to Sengarema, thanks to the state of NGBF and Mutterspach, the best school located in Mara, as well as the Bara app, a special app for children to learn at home. They have enabled us to reach Sengarema. Sengarema has many inhabitants, the Sukuma ethnic group. The footprints of the searcher's article is written for one important reason, which is this Tanganyika Adventist church, from which people went astray to start new teachings, supposedly speeding up the prophecy, encouraging them to go to the forest and not to build houses because Jesus is coming soon. There is no need to build houses anymore. Amazing, right? Huh? Listen. I am very happy to be a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And previously, where I was going, I had people who somehow had a message that was not a good message because it was a message that hastened the time of trouble, as they announced that the time of tribulation has already come and there is no need to build houses. But I can testify that I have left those teaching and came back to study the scriptures and to have a relationship with God's people in order to keep learning. Now, I understand the truth. This gives my heart happiness and a great joy that I cannot describe. And from now on, I will give my life to serve God in spirit and truth by following the Holy Scriptures. Now the amazing thing is that he and his family and his followers have been baptized. Now their church, the plot of land and musical instruments will belong to God. The true gospel, through the footprints of hope, is a blessing to the people along the shores of Lake Victoria. So we were trying to follow the points, one by one. As we learn, we try to support one another. And at the end of the day, after the arguments that they had were over, they agreed to become members of our church. And after they had joined the church, all they had, in terms of the plot of land, together with other assets of the church, was donated to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. After my baptism, I returned to the truth. I am committed to serve God. I will serve God as long as He protects me. When it comes to the assets that have been donated, as you can see this area, we wish to develop it, improving the grounds. The goal is for this to become a proper church. The assets that were donated will continue to be used to do God's work.